what happens if you say yes, if you admit to yourself that, yes, I planned to work on this goal, but I couldn't achieve the goal at the time that I was set um, to achieve that goal. When you say yes, it means that you are accepting yourself as you are. It means that you are telling your mind that I'm not perfect. But with the efforts, you can then work on yourself. With learning, you can then get to hear some of the tips that you can apply so that you are able to equip yourself. Now, Coach, please share with us some of the help tips that we can consider to really regulate our stress levels. Okay, before I go there, Joshua, I want to talk, you said something so important. You spoke about perfect, imperfection. You know, we are so focused on being perfect, but what happens when we want to be perfect? We procrastinate. Mm. We stop loving because it's not good enough. It, it's, got to, it's got to be perfect. But what is perfect? By whose measure? Mm. And so if we do things that's not perfect, we'll still get results. Because we got to understand we are doing the best we can with what we have in the moment. And over time, things get better. We learn better. We do things differently. So I always say we are perfectly imperfect, and that is just perfect. Okay, so talking about stress levels, some tips, <laughs> I can't say this more, you know, get a life coach. <laughs> I cannot stress this more. And I, and, and I hope that it doesn't create any stressful uh, thoughts for anybody. But a life coach is there to help you see the things you can't. You know, we cannot change our habits if we don't know what our habits are that's not serving us. So that's the very first thing. I, I, I've got clients that join me and they, they are in really bad mental states. You know, there's too much going on. There's not enough time. Uh, people are doing this to me. And, you know, when I look at them today, they are transformed. And it's a journey that doesn't take too long. But you've got to show up for your life. And I think that is one of the biggest tips. you got to decide, I want to change my life. And I'm going to take that first step. And then you see what happens. So let's face it. You are already living life. You are already feeling uncomfortable. You are feeling the disempowered emotions, the unhappiness, the frustration, the anger, the humiliation. So why not turn that around and say, I'm going to feel uncomfortable. That is going to help me to make myself better, to step into the version that I want to be. We all have dreams. But what is the difference between a, a dreamer and an achiever? A dreamer dreams and dreams and keeps it in his or her head. An achiever says, this is what I like to do in my life. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I know there is something that I'm supposed to do and it's linked to this. And then when you start taking action, that is what an achiever is. It's a person who dreamt and took action. So I say, I like what Nike says, just do it. Mm -hmm. Just get up in the morning and make the changes that you are supposed to. You will get more than only managing your stress levels. You will have a whole new different mindset when you do the coaching because, you know, we look at, like you, you mentioned, it's the self-awareness, it's the personal development. You, you focus on you and make yourself, you know, you upgrade your software, basically, mm -hmm. your internal software. And that software is going to help you. So bring balance into your life. Uh, when there is imbalance, it creates a lot of stress. And we sometimes spend a lot of time in certain areas. We either love in that area a lot or we use it as a time blocker. So if I know I need to do something, but oh, I'm going to meet my friends, they message me, I'm going for a party. And then I say, oh, you know, my friends are so important. I need to chill. I'm going to go with them. You are blocking out your time. And so it makes you feel good. 
because you've used that time up, but you're not using it to evolve to be your best self. And I think that's one of the most important points I can make. So go quiet. Uh, a lot of the time, when you are in, in noisy, cloudy areas, uh, when you are with your friends laughing and talking, that's good. But when you are doing that all the time, you've got to ask yourself, where am I going with this? Is it taking me where I need to be? Is it helping me to become the person I want to become? Do we give up on our dreams because we think we're not good enough? But we, we amplify the not good enough by saying that all the time. So every time, you know, every time we say the same things, it becomes uh, concrete. It becomes a belief. I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. Oh, why should I do that? I'm not good enough. So we got to start changing that. And once we get rid of that energy, we make space for good energy to come in to promote ourselves to become better. So empower yourself. Oh, here's another important one. Your life is your responsibility. When I heard that, I got rid of my excuses. It's no one else's responsibility. Yes, your parents brought you onto this earth. It's not their responsibility to make you live the life you are supposed to live. That comes down to what you want in your life. And so you can take all your breaths in your life and never do anything that you feel is of importance, and that's fine. It's your choice. But if you want to really make a difference, if you want to feel good inside about getting up every morning and going to bed at night, you've, you've done your part, then you start taking the action. So I think it's all about taking action.